Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Hey! Look out! Quickly! Please! Duty calls.
get some rest. One side at a time. Girl, come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Somebody, help! We need to get her breathing again. God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. There, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! there are from the splinter cell splinter cell they used to be with avalanche but left after a policy dispute <sighs> easy they're guests of mine and this one was trying to save your life he was 
Nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to be that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. What a relief this didn't turn out worse. Splinter Cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And got a thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry, promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Nothing makes you feel... in the heroes of the hour i heard about what you did for that girl thank you so much your stay is on us we insist it's the least we can do for you really now then how many we got will four rooms be enough uh, could you make it five five it is oh everything is comped so if you need anything at all just ask I don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. I thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. Feels like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, 
You never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. No we'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But uh, I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? 
I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> that the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. Wutai? <sighs> me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Light 
from yonder balcony breaks. Come on down and say hello. Since certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> It only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. You got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Did you see the guy on the motorcycle? You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters are. Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go.
Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. We cannot let Midgar wait. Any idea what that is? The highway. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. 
Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. It would have been perfect. Okay, beggars can't be choosers. That's the ticket. Do we have to go to that social? Just gotta make a tour of advice. Them be for now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wu Tai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. You were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wu Tai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. War can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Remember that 
You represent Juno. It's our sworn duty to keep the president safe. against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look! What's that about? Listen up! Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation! Let's show him how a real drill team does it! And make our city proud! <laughs> Troopers! You're all off duty until the parade begins! But use this time wisely! Practice your technique! <laughs> Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Fred, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. What do you think you're doing? 
If you're gonna stand there, keep watch. Ha ha, very funny. Come on, Cloud. You really need to be this close? Scram! Occupied! Uh, Cloud, what do you think you're doing? If you're gonna stand there, keep watch. Part. Maybe. But don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, alright? Head to Starboard Junon when you're ready. Better hurry. You don't want to be the reason your team is disqualified. Hold it! seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection... I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear?
Precise, clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, you've impressed me. <clears throat> You'd serve as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am! in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seven Sprissards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud! Ma'am! This is a big opportunity. Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home. Right? <laughs> cool. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Hello there. I'm with SN. Do you have All right. Everybody. Ooh, perfect timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? Whenever you're ready, sir! Thanks a bunch! Wow, Captain! Who knew you were such a pro? I might just have to frame this! Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir! Hundreds of troops 
troopers were assembled at Junon's aerodrome. Trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh, um, I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir. sir. Parade's over. I'll be. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Get the helmet. Oh, Captain! I, I didn't. I'm sorry, sir. Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, yes sir! sir! our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Oh. r and R's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir! Looking forward 
to a celebratory drink, sir! Can't wait, sir! They've got ev- Hmm? Well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model, too? Check the helmet, you dipshit. Oh, Captain! Please forgive me, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Right away, right, sir! sir. Midgar, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. Good. <laughs> the parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain? up as we march the eyes of the whole world will be watching us and we uh... and we cannot we will not let our great city of Midgar down failure is not an option it's a big ask but we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions! Yes, sir! Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't wanna be late, sir. Of course. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. There he is! 
is, folks. Rufus Shinra. Wow! Can you even hear me over this crowd? Uh, the president has stopped. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. <sighs> Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar's 7th Infantry. The captain and his team have trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry, make us proud. Begin! Do they seem a tad nervous? It all looks a little stiff. Such excellent Second directions. Sequence. Begin! It all looks so effortless. That practice is paying off. That concludes the first part of today's performance by the 7th Infantry Drill Team. Our judges are currently tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. And here they are now. Frankly, I'm already blown away. And folks here seem to agree, the crowd is loving it. The only question is how they're going to top this. Left, face. Formation, change. Solid work. Final sequence, begin! Their movements are so crisp and clean. What a performance! I can't take my eyes off them. It's good, but they can surely do better. history in the making, folks. And with that, the 7th Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, our judges have been busy tallying all the votes we've received. So let's take a look at the results. Universal acclaim, and little wonder given the skill and coordination on display. Keep this up and the seventh might well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. Drill team, halt! First sequence, begin! They're doing 
quite well. Formation change. This is looking promising. Practice makes perfect. Final sequence. Begin. That practice is paying off. Their movements are so crisp and clean. The judges are tallying the votes for the viewers. <laughs> and now, let's see the results. Listen to that crowd. Judging by this response, it's clear that Midgar's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new fans. There's no denying it, folks. That was a performance for the ages. Next, the moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. We're back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. to congratulate you on the stirring performance you've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question, and I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <laughs> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar's mobile unit! The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young 
to an experienced to lead us. But to them and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day, and the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. Commendation to present. The award goes to Midgar's Seventh Infantry. <laughs> To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. The president has invited three members of the 7th Infantry to come and accept the award on the drill team's behalf. Salute! Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. <laughs> the president offers his congratulations to the team. When the only imaginable of those three troops... Hmm? I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir! You! You're on crowd control! That ain't right. Excuse me! Need to get through! Barrett! Over there! Of all the times... I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, 
like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent, the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get? Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Seems like a good way up. Shinra, time to pay. Focus. So, we have ourselves a deal. <coughs> Only if you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Hojo, not the Turks. No one. You have my word. Take your time. You know you can do this. <laughs> Here goes. Gotcha. Stop! <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Get over here! Uh, so that's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You had your chance. Sir, please! Sweep the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Yuffie, that was her, right? Yep. What do we do? Get the hell out of here. Hey! What happened to 
Rufus. Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. Sir, your orders! Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larboard Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. We'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest of Larvor Juno. Got it? Yes, sir! Just like 
indulge me, trooper. Yes, sir! to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> hmm? Oh dear. My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. Yours? 
fans of ours. Didn't you know? You and I are living legends. I got this. Sir. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? The two of us, together again at long last. Picture it! A duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! <laughs>
see you soon. Match was ours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion! <laughs> I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expected nothing less than the best. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain, a gift. I insist. yourself. I bid you on voyage, my friend. Bueno, vamos a dejar esta parte aquí. No perdimos con el jefe este. No hubo leveleo, pero casi, casi, casi perdemos. Yo me despido, fui Duxa. Un abrazo, cuídense. Y nos veremos hasta otra edición de Final Fantasy. Un saludo. Cuídense un montón. Bye bye.